McQueen Creek is an incredible place to live in Arizona. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about what it's like living in Queen Creek, so stay tuned. <music> Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra Paladino, your local Arizona real estate agent. If this is your first time to my channel, you're going to want to subscribe. I share tons of great information about moving here, living here, and when you subscribe, click the bell. That way you get alerted every time I have a new video. My team and I are getting so many calls from you guys. You're like, hey, I wanna to move to Arizona. What would it take? Or hey, I already live here. I wanna move somewhere else. And we love it, gosh, we love helping you, guiding you, so definitely reach out any questions anything like that we'd love to help you Arizona has had so much growth over the past few years this is especially true of Queen Creek which has had the highest population and housing growth in all of the state gosh we have grown a lot I have seen this firsthand as my family and I we moved to Queen Creek in 2018 and gosh we love it even though there's a lot more traffic these days there's nowhere else that I want to move in Arizona we love living here something that my family family and I love about living in Queen Creek is the people. Gosh, everyone is so friendly and so eager to really kind of just help one another. It's such a nice change from California. Everyone seems to make an effort to get to know their neighbors. What I've noticed is it's a lot of families and retired people that live here. So it's just a good mix of people and everyone is just so friendly. It's great. The median household income for Queen Creek is about 104000 So that's actually much higher than the national average which I think is about 60,000. If we look at the map we see at the north end is Bell Bank Park. This is actually technically in Mesa but it's so close and so many people use it in Queen Creek that I wanted to share it with you. It just opened this year in January 2022. It's a 320 acre huge Sports complex. It hosts all of legacy sports. So for adults and kids, there's an indoor fitness center, which is pretty amazing. There's a great restaurant called The Goat. Anyone can go to it. You don't have to be using the sports facilities there. My family and I love eating there. Son plays on the soccer team and they practice there. Then oftentimes after practice, we're like, hey, let's just go eat at The Goat. Something amazing is that this sports complex is actually the largest sports and entertainment facility of its kind in all of North America. So pretty amazing that we have this right up the street. So as you can imagine, all kinds of sports are played here. We've got soccer, we've got volleyball, baseball, pickleball, tennis, and more. I could go on and on and on. What I really love is that most of the sports fields are turf. So the conditions of the field are so nice. When you're there, you feel you're, like you're at a professional sports field. It's really nice and really great for the kids and adults to use. My son has been loving playing soccer there. He's on the Arsenal soccer club team. It's just so great having such a large sports facility nearby because honestly, sports is a big deal in Queen Creek. A lot of kids are active, they play sports. So it's so nice having that facility and having a place that they can all go to and not having to drive an hour to get to. Going down Ellsworth, we can see that the following shopping has been built or some of it is still being built. For instance, Costco is currently being built. It is slated to open hopefully by end of year, but keep hearing different rumors. There's an Aldi discount grocery store. It's like a smaller, more boutique grocery store. It's great if you've got to get something quick. Also, I find that produce is priced really well there. In this area is also Drizzle Donuts, which my family and I love. This place has very unique donuts. They've got everything. They've got one with bacon. They've got one with, um, it looks like mud, but it's, I believe, like chocolate cake with like sugar worms on top. So it looks like worms and dirt. My favorite is the one that's like drizzled peanut butter with, or not peanut butter, but Reese's with crumpled Reese's on top. Let me tell you, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> or you can even do custom donuts from them. I've ordered soccer balls from them for a soccer party. I had custom Lego donuts. So this is a nice little feature to have a place to go to and be able to get that little sweet treat or something fun for a party. There's also Dutch Brothers, which is a huge thing in Arizona. If you don't know about it, you're gonna know about it. It's drive through only coffee shop, but their coffee is like milkshakes. You can customize it and do all these great things 
things. And if you want regular coffee, you can do that too. But hey, why not indulge when you're there? Going further down south on Ellsworth, we get to Queen Creek Marketplace. This is a very popular shopping center because it's got basically almost everything you need. We've got Target, we've got Petco, we've got Trader Joe's, Sprouts. There's a few gyms even. So lots of different options for you to enjoy. A popular restaurant in this shopping area is Barrio Queen. My family and I love going here. It's sit down Mexican food, but it's got like a fun atmosphere to it. If you go on a Saturday, they have a live band, super fun. This is actually my son's favorite restaurant. We love going here. If you're on the go and you want something more fast food, there's lots of great options there. We've got Chick-fil-A, we've got In-N-Out. My family and I go there a lot. Panera, Subway. I could go on and on. Lots of great options to enjoy. There's a Harkins movie theater and right next to it, they're starting to build Dave and Buster's. Yay! <laughs> we are looking forward to that. That's going to bring a lot of fun for everyone, especially when it's hot out. You're looking for fun indoor places like that. We do already have a fat cast down the street, but every time my family and I try to go, it is so busy. If you want a bowl, forget about it. You have to wait a really long time. I just don't think they have enough lanes. And then for some reason, the arcade games don't, aren't always working. So I don't I don't know what's going on. I, I just think we need another place like that. So Dave and Buster's is going to be amazing. I will say this, Fat Cats movie theater is really good. They've got reclinable seats. And if you order anything from the concession stand, they'll actually figure out where you're sitting and they'll bring it to you. So you get drinks, you get food, they'll bring it to your seat so you can just relax and enjoy. On Friday nights at the marketplace, there's Queen Creek Festival. So basically it's a bunch of food trucks that come so we can go and enjoy a lot of the town likes to go. And it's just a great way to go get a good meal because most of us don't want to cook on Friday, support the local businesses. Oftentimes there's a live singer, there's other vendors as well selling other goods. There's this one lady that I believe used to be a teacher. She sells these amazing learning activities slash games. My son loves them. So I'm like, hey, I get to support her and my son is learning in the process. Win-win. I recently had the opportunity to buy these donuts from these kids. These kids that I believe they live in Chandler, they started selling donuts and sweets. And it's amazing. They're actually siblings. So again, another great way to support support local businesses and in this case support kid entrepreneurs. I just love that so much. So it's definitely a place you want to go and check out and a lot of the town that lives here we love going and checking it out. On Saturdays during the fall and through the spring not the summer months we love going to the Queen Creek family market. It's kind of like a farmer's market. You get to go buy local baked goods, local produce, local handmade items. It's great. I I love going and getting local honey. Mm -mm -mm. It is so good. So definitely something that a lot of the people here love doing. Again, we all love to come together and support local businesses. One of the reasons my family and I love living in Queek, I should say another reason, is all the parks. Oh my goodness. Pretty much every neighborhood has got several parks in it. Plus there's local community parks that are really amazing. So kids, adults, everyone likes to go and enjoy these parks. A popular community park nearby is Mansell Carter Park. This park is incredible. It's really great for all ages. There's a huge playground that's covered for summer months. Huge lake you can actually fish at but you'll need a permit. When it's hot out there's a splash pad that the kids just love playing on. Sometimes I think I want to go through there. <laughs> so it's just such a great community park. There's a skate park, there's sports fields, there's a lot and it is really really a great park. Queen Creek is known for having newer nicer houses on larger lots. I've met a lot of people who either were thinking about moving to Gilbert or they used to live in Gilbert and then they end up in Queen Creek because when they start comparing, they're like, wow, Gilbert has a lot of homes built in the 90s. A lot of them haven't been updated, so they're not 
not as modern, maybe a little dated. Whereas Queen Creek, a lot of the homes were built later, 2000, 2005, 2010, it just depends on the neighborhood. So people seem to really like that. Plus the lots are larger here on average. So that means you're gonna have a bigger backyard. A popular community in Queen Creek is Montelena. It's a gorgeous neighborhood, larger size homes. All the lots are about a quarter of an acre, so good size. The average size of the house is between 3,300 square feet, that's the smallest, to about like 6,000 square feet. So a lot of options there. Price range is gonna range between 600,000 to over a million. So if you're looking for a nice neighborhood, larger sized homes, larger sized lots, you might wanna consider this one if there's a house available. There's an incredible neighborhood in Queen Creek that I absolutely love. I tried to get my parents to move there. It's called Encantera. It's a unique, gorgeous community. It's gated, so you drive through these huge, gorgeous gates. They look like huge doors. And when you do, you enter, you're like, wow, where am I? You feel like you've been transported somewhere else, like you're in some resort paradise. It is absolutely breathtaking. You immediately see the massive grounds of golf. There's little water lakes going through the houses all throughout. There's palm trees. I mean, you just feel like you're on vacation somewhere else. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's a huge clubhouse. They've got a restaurant there. The restaurant is open to the public. My husband and I actually went for Valentine's this year and we got to enjoy these amazing steaks. They were so delicious. Let me tell you, better than some really expensive ones I've had up in Scottsdale. They know how to do their steaks and my husband agreed and he knows his steaks. <laughs> so if you're looking for a good place to eat, I would go there. And not only that, you will see what I mean about the grounds. It's just so beautiful, the views, everything. I mean, you just feel like you're on vacation. There are a unique community because it's both 55 and up. So one area is 55 and up and one area is all ages. So everybody could live there. They have a variety of pools. They have one that you can be in is kind of the main one and it has like a swim up bar so you can order drinks you can order food there's another one that's more like a lap pool there's one indoors and then there's one in the 55 and over area if you just kind of want to be around adults only so there is so much to do there it is incredible the homes there range from 450,000 to over 1 million in the 55 and over community is two to three bedrooms and then in the all ages it's just single family homes and they vary from three bedroom and up. So lots of options. So if you want to feel like you're on vacation every day, you got to go live in this community or at least go visit it because it is breathtaking. And believe me, as much as I can show you video, it's just not the same. You have to see it for yourself. Another popular community is Harvest. It's this beautiful, big master plan community. A variety of builders are there. They've already sold out a phase one but they are now building phase two or there are some resale homes available if let's say someone's already moving. Homes range from like 1,500 square feet and up. It's a good variety. What I love about it is that it's near the Olive Mill and Schnepp Farms. You can see the mountains from there and they've got this gorgeous community pool and the playground. It's one of the coolest playgrounds I've ever seen. So just a great family neighborhood that people are really enjoying living in. Homes range in price from 450,000 and up. Another premier master plan community in Queen Creek is Barney Farms. They're just building it out right now, but there's huge plans for this community. They've got something very unique that they actually have deep water lakes. So you can go kayaking. That's incredible. You can go fishing. There's tons of other things. I believe it's a 400 an acre community. So they have all these walking trails that are going to be throughout the neighborhood. It's pretty incredible. Again, another very unique neighborhood that's gonna provide lots of fun activities for the people that live there. In Queen Creek, we have some amazing restaurant experiences, much better than your usual restaurants. For instance, one of them is Santan Flats. It's technically Santan Valley, but it's literally right there on the border and it's just such a fun place to go. It's an American type restaurant. They're known for having cookouts outside. When you go there, there, you feel like you're enjoying a good meal by a campfire with friends and they often have live music. So it's just a fun place to go and enjoy good food, good barbecue. You're outside listening to live
live music. So again, it's outside. So something I recommend is go when we have cooler evenings. That usually begins in the fall time. So definitely that is a hot place that people love enjoying in Queen Creek. Another popular place is the Queen Creek Olive Mill. It's located near the Santan Mountains. It's actually near that neighborhood that I mentioned earlier, Harvest. What's unique about this place is it's not just a restaurant, it's actually a working olive mill and farm. So you can actually go take a tour, see all the beautiful olive trees, learn how to taste olive oil without using bread. What I really enjoy though is having a good meal there. They've got all these gorgeous olive trees and then these tables in between them so you get to go it's beautiful during the daytime at nighttime it's amazing because they've got lights going through them it's just a great experience the food is super fresh it's Italian inspired meals they use local good uh, food so it's actually really really fresh tasting there's even a coffee roastery inside I mean there's so much to experience ooh and there's a little market inside so you can get some delicious olive oil, some vinegar, or other goodies. Definitely, it's a place to go and enjoy. The residents in Queen Creek and actually people all around nearby, they love going and enjoying Schnepp Farms. It's a local farm where you can actually go and pick your own produce, but not only that, they're known for their events. Their events are primarily from fall to spring. I really love going for the pumpkin patch. You can pick your own pumpkin, there's hay rides. What's really fun is they have a spooky train ride or what's really fun also is during Christmas, the whole place is like a winter wonderland. So you can imagine it's a farm, but then it's just string lights throughout. It's amazing. The train ride that was spooky during Halloween actually has Christmas lights along the side and it's all run through World of Illumination. So basically the lights twinkle to the music. So it's just a really fun, incredible experience. Definitely something that all of us that live here is just part of Queen Creek. We go there, we enjoy it. And also it's supporting the Snap family so that they can keep the farm open. Queen Creek is such a fun, family-oriented town. I know I've shared a lot with you today. I hope it wasn't too much. Maybe go back, and take some notes, or if you have questions about anything I mentioned, definitely reach out. If you want to explore more about Queen Creek, let me know. Or other areas, I'm happy to help guide you. My team and I would love to connect with you and help you out. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Nearby, Arizona has experienced so much growth in the past few years. This is especially true. Th <laughs>